hey everyone welcome back to my channel and this if this is your first time here welcome the topic for today is going to be on independence just give me what you think about Africans celebrating independence since it hasn't really been serving us since the day that the independence was supposed to happen I don't see why we should we should keep celebrating independence I don't see why it's a thing for us to actually celebrate things that we haven't been independent since 1960. We've not been independent. We have we have not changed our mind from our colonizers' mindset. We have not changed our languages. Well, see, I'm speaking in English. Maybe I can speak in French. But it's like we haven't changed our mind. We haven't really made up our minds on what we should be like as Africans. We have not taking charge our own identity as Africans and I'm going to speak on the subject of Congo today because today is the independence and everyone is exciting and all the bars are open today is the day that bars make money probably some other days but for today there's it's like a commission there's a mission to make money on the 30th of June because it's a celebration everyone celebrates there's fireworks because it makes no sense. We, we, we're not supposed to be celebrating independence. We cannot celebrate things that we have not, we have not seen. We celebrate our birthdays because we see us growing. We celebrate children's birthday because we see them grow. But when we celebrate independence and we have not grown, it's like, what are we doing? We're actually playing ourselves. Because today you're going to celebrate independence and the next day you're going to send your kids to the same school that their grandparents went to. The same material that your children are learning learning now in primary school, I learned it in primary school. Have we changed? Have we changed since independence? Have we changed since 1960s? Have we actually done proud the people who actually died for the cause? Have, have we worked enough to show Lumumba that when he is in the graves, he's like, yes, my people, you're doing me proud. Are we doing that? Are we actually exceeding? Are we excelling? Are we producing for ourselves? Are we providing for our, for our countries? Are we doing the best of our abilities to actually make them proud? Or are we just a youth that on the 30th of June, we go to the bar and we get wasted because that's what happens. Everyone get wasted on the 30th. It's like, um, you're actually missing the point. The point was not for you to get wasted, the point was for you to feel free, for you to actually take a stand. If Lumumba was alive today, would he be proud of what we're doing? Would he be proud of the things that we have accomplished? Because our people still need the basics, we still need electricity, we still need water. Just running water in our houses is a whole, it's a problem. And I'm not talking from a point of view where, well, um, you don't live there, you don't do this and that. No, I, I was a girl who used to go get water. I was a girl who woke up at 3 a.m. to watch TV because that's the time that electricity come. And it's like, socially, are we doing enough? Socially, are we respecting each other? Socially, are we holding each other by hand? Socially, are we doing things that we're supposed to be doing for each other? Serving each other? Are we doing that? No, I'm not seeing that. So if we are actually going to be celebrating the Banda, if we're actually going to be celebrating, we need to come up with receipt. We need to show Lumumba receipt and be like, bro, you left. Are we continuing the legacy of people who came before us? Or what kind of legacy are we are we leaving for people behind us? And I'm, I'm talking as an African youth and I'm talking to you as an African youth. Are we doing enough? Or are we just going to continue celebrating independences that really are no independences? Because for, from the definition of independence, it means the people who were colonized are taking control. They're taking control. They've been self-governed. Are we being self-governed? Have we taken sovereignty of our places? Have we, have we done enough? Okay. But just from a point of view of a young person, I don't. I just don't think we should be celebrating it because we are wasting time. 
we are wasting our time to think on what would work for us we are wasting our time to actually be productive and produce for ourselves and our people i hope you've um you've thought about things that i forgot because i'm probably sure i forgot a lot because this is just me pouring my heart out and saying we should we should not be doing this because the systems that we had the systems that we inherited from our colonizers let's be honest they have not worked for us even one bit their system are not for us it's we're africans and they're europeans we're africans and it's it does not work that way we need to start looking for our own ways for things to work doing things that are actually benefiting us and looking for things that will benefit us because what we've seen have not worked for us and celebrating independence with things that have not worked for us i feel like it so uh yes i hope you stayed this long at the end of this video please like please comment I want to see the comments i want to see people talk i want to see people get involved in this discussion um please subscribe and uh, tell other people to subscribe share okay i want us to start questioning the concept of independence the concept itself because they did not give us independence we took it like lumumba said independence was was not something that they actually handed to us independence was something that we actually had to fight for so let's continue fighting because there are many other things that they're not handed to us no never no today no ever so let's start taking it taking what we think it's ours so um uh, thank you and come back